Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for January 13th. That's today. Um, so this is for whoever it resonates with. I've decided to use the vice versa deck. I'm going to use one of these and one of these, and we're going to see what comes up. Now, these daily vibes, they're kind of like timeless, okay? Whenever it resonates, this is an energy I'm picking up on today for whoever who need, whoever this is meant to be for, okay? I always cut this deck before I start because there's stuff on both sides and I want to get a starting energy and to just lay it down with something that was on the bottom just doesn't seem right or the top, you know, so I cut it for the reading. So I've cut it to the Nine of Pentacles. Um, it's the not it's the non traditional meaning, or you could some people would consider it reversed, but it's it's not really reversed. It's just a di different meaning. What this means to me, what I'm seeing is that somebody is turning their back on a situation, okay, for sure, and heading towards um, something brand new, okay. Now, peace. For one thing, she is headed towards peace. Okay, and this 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 person um, has done a lot of work already. Done a lot of work because before it is the Eight of Pentacles, really putting a lot of effort to change. Um, very working on their independence, working on self love, working on self. So we have somebody here that has been manifesting, setting intentions. Um, working on their abundance and just kind of like secluding themselves from the outer world because they know that they have to um, grow from within on their own. So, you know, because this is the independent person who is... And this doesn't. This could be somebody that is in a relationship. It could be somebody that is deciding. You know what? I need to go my own path. I need to go my own way. Doesn't it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to break up. It means that you have new intentions for the for the for your future. Somebody is setting new intentions with that moon, and you know it looks as though the the focus is on abundance here. I'm focused on getting that ten of pentacles. That. Uh, success, that stability, that security, that, that, um, ultimate abundance, the Ten of Pentacles. I, I just need that. I need, I need the, uh, perfect opportunity to complete me. And in order for me to get that perfect opportunity, I know that I'm going to have to work hard on myself to get it. You know, I have to be ready for it. So during this time, somebody is um, going within. And it looks like turning their back on everything that doesn't serve them to call in that perfect opportunity. Okay? So you got to think about the Ace of Pentacles. That's what she needs. She needs that one more pentacle to get the Ten of Pentacles. That one more pentacle is the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles is manifestation. It's the perfect opportunity. It's something that you can really save. It's something solid, something long term. That's what she wants. But I know that in order for me to get it, I'm going to have to really work hard on my abundance, my inner and my outer. So this person is turning their back on everything to work on themselves, to get prepared for that golden opportunity. So we, that's what's going on here. That's, what, that's what's happening with somebody. I'm just going to put this over here for a second so I can start shuffling these. Now, we could have somebody that has been in a relationship that's deciding to go on their own. Okay? That could certainly be the case. Or we have this single person that is calling in their soulmate. Okay? We're going to get more on that in a minute. i got so much going through my head, but I want to I wanna do this first. We could do that one card for an hour. We're not going to, though. We're going to get one of these for the 13th. What do we got? One of these. Expression. Expression. 
And that's self-expression. It is. Look at all the colors. Somebody is seeing things through a new light in a more colorful, colorful way, expressing themselves differently than they, than they ever have before. It's a time of self-expression, right? And people are making bold moves to express themselves. It's like your whole style is changing. get one of these. Oh, this is amazing. I mean, that's what this is about, too. It's, it's gaining self-esteem. By turning your back, I mean, if you can find the self-esteem to turn your back on stuff that doesn't serve you, and work on yourself. This is self-worth and self-love and self-acceptance. It is. Acceptance that I am. I am. Self-esteem. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. And somebody is, is starting to realize that. And they're expressing themselves in a different way. Completely. A completely different way. I'm, you know, that's what's going on. We're going to go ahead and take this first card and shuffle. So, somebody is going their own path for real. Whether you're in a relationship or not, it's like I'm... I'm, I'm headed towards that ultimate abundance. I'm talking to the moon. Facing my fears so that I can express myself as I am. I am. That's what this is. This is I am. I am enough. I am abundant. I am worthy. Interesting. Oh. Why do I always stop on that card? Why? Always, always when I use this deck. Somebody is needing to stand up for themselves. After being belittled and brought to their knees. Somebody has dealt with a person that they cannot win. I, can, I can't win. I can't win. And this person won't help. This person does nothing to help. This person has no remorse. All this person can think about is being in control. It looks to me like this person down here is giving up. I'm giving up. I'm giving up. I, I have given up. I have given up by the looks of things. Um, looks like somebody has gone through some sort of awakening, right? Somebody has seen the light. I don't belong down here. I deserve the Ten of Pentacles. I deserve the abundance. I deserve stability and security. And I'm even better off on my own. I deserve peace. I deserve love. So it looks as though we have somebody that has been enlightened in regards to what path they need to take. And in order to take this path, they're going to have to turn their back on something. And it may mean that they have to work a little bit harder, but it's better than being 
at rock bottom. You see the rock? She's, she's at rock bottom. She is. But this person has been, been put at rock bottom by another person. They allowed it. They didn't know their self-worth. They didn't have the self-esteem to express themselves. But somebody has uh, gone through some sort of awakening, perhaps through isolation. You know, this person is really good at isolating another person. That's one of the ways that they will bring them down is to isolate them. So, you know, looks to me like somebody has been put through isolation, but now they see. They see what they got to do. Go ahead. My phone is over there. Not even near me. And Siri just turned on. Here's what I found on the web for how old is over the air, not even near me. Have a look. What? What? Hold on, I don't know what this is about. <laughs> I don't understand. That I haven't used Siri on this phone never in my life. Ever. Not once. That is fucked up. Excuse my language. I don't even know what to say or do. I'm just trying to think about this for a second. I'm gonna put the phone back down over there, and uh, now we. And, and it's funny because now we got the high priestess, gifted psychic, divinely guided by from above. Okay, this is the high priestess. What the fuck was that all about? That's what I want to know. This is a Jesus consciousness, and this is the high priestess going within to listen. She's turning her back as well. Sorry, I'm speechless. I'm speechless. I gotta, I gotta regroup for a second here. Silence. Silence. Going within to listen. We have a person that is listening and, go, and, and, and isolating again. Isolating themselves to listen. You know, to listen to where they need to go. Regaining the power. Very intuitive here. A lot of intuition is guiding somebody to definitely turn their back on a person that they've been struggling with. This person, they can't win. They can't. No matter what they do, no matter what they do, this person is very egotistical. This person is mean-spirited. This person is has no um, remorse. So this this person, this is this right here is this these three cards, the same person that and this woman or whoever this you know, I'm not gonna gender base this at this moment. I haven't seen that yet, but somebody's intuition and spirit guides are guiding them to take a new route on their own. 
because they don't need to be on rock bottom anymore and they're going to have to find the self-esteem to express themselves and go their own way. Interesting. Oh, move on. Move on, the Six of Swords. Right now, things are really choppy. Things are a little unclear because, you know, when you're heading out into the darkness, when you're heading out into the night, when you're heading out into something that the unknown, because you can't see when it's dark and there's a lot of darkness here and there is darkness here. It's like, yeah, I'm scared. I'm scared of the dark. I'm scared of the darkness. I'm scared of the unseen, but I know, I know the high priestess, I know that I have, I need to come out of my shell. I need to follow my own path. I need to do what's right for me. I need to pick myself back up from this place of being so down, being so low, being at my worst. I need to pick myself up and go my own way and listen to my intuition. I need to listen to my spirit guides. I need to listen. And somebody is listening. They have been in light. They're seeing the light. I see the light. And I'm going to face the fear. I'm going to face the darkness. I've never used that Siri ever. Ever. I don't even know how to get to it. Son of a bitch. Anyway, um, the Queen of Pentacles with her back turned underneath this. I mean, this somebody is definitely turning their back. They're... You know, this is not stable, it's not secure, it's not practical, and I need to get grounded. And the only way for me to ground myself and to come back down to reality is to turn my back from the outside world for a minute. Because I'm closing a door to something that really um, stole my energy, stole my, my self-esteem and my self-confidence. I'm just going to go ahead and lay out these cards. Justice. I'm still in shock over that. I really am. I don't know what the hell. I mean, that thing, I'll show it to you. I'll show you what the phone is. You guys saw me shuffling. I'm going to get to see the whole... My table. There's the table. I'm going to show you where the phone is. There's where my cards are. Just so my boxes. I got more in the living room, but whatever. You guys are getting to see my room. Before we, I'm sorry to interrupt, but you could, this is part of, the, part of the reading, okay? The phone is way over there. That's my table. What, or it's not a table, it's a chair. The phone is over there. Nothing touched it. That's where it was sitting when it went off. I'm way over here. I'm way over here. I, ha I mean, I'm not. Here we go. I'm over here. That's on the bottom of the deck. Anyway. Sorry for those of you that didn't want to see that. I just needed to let you know that phone isn't even in reach. I mean, I, I have to literally move and bend and I, and I was right. And, no. Mm -mm. Anyway. I'm a little thrown off because of that. i got to figure out what that was, but I can't do it when I'm on camera, and I already started the reading, and I wanted you guys to hear that because it was prominent. I'm not going to start this reading over because it was something. It was for you guys as well. That wasn't just for me. It happened for you as well. Anyway, this Queen of Pentacles is doing what is right, the most practical, reasonable thing, accepting reality. She is the queen of reality, and she knows that she has to release the, this is the Nine of Swords, the, the, the state of mind, Swords are the state of mind that she has held on to. It's like, and she's not even holding on to it. It's like, it's going gonna, it's gonna to go right out the window, and she's going to let it go right out the window because she knows that she can't be trapped. I can't be trapped here anymore. It's time for me to break free. It's time. It's time. It's time for me to treat myself fairly. It's time for me to get the justice that I deserve and open my heart. And the only way for me to get the love that I deserve and to have heart fulfillment, love, I'm going to have to I'm going to have to face my fears. I'm going to have to face this this darkness and this this um unclear situation. 
So we have somebody here that has been trapped um, isolating themselves because they needed to find their self-esteem and their self-confidence to face some sort of situation that was bullying them. You know, we're dealing with a bully here that has, and, and this person may have bullied you from afar even. You know, maybe you've been independent for some time and you've gone through some sort of healing, you know, and you've done a lot of healing, but, but you still hold on to those negative thoughts, okay? You still hold on to that pain. You still hold on to the you know, anxiety that this person caused by bringing you, you know, to rock bottom. So somebody is releasing that anxiety and this guy's not in bed anymore. He's, he's releasing it right now. He's like throwing it right out the window. He's, this guy is throwing his, his fears, his, his negative thoughts, his anxieties right out the window. I'm closing this chapter, um, that I have been trapped in. Because I know that I have to, I have to make this heavy decision and finalize this phase in my life. The only way to do that is to go deep within on my own. So somebody is moving in a new direction towards, I think, you know, it starts from, it starts with self-love. And I think that this person is working on healing their heart and following, definitely following their intuition and, and, and awakening to find themselves, um, more, you know, at the beginning of allowing themselves to, to love again, but this is at the very beginning. I feel like somebody is making some sort of move to bring balance and harmony back to their life. And they know that in order to do that, they are going to have to, uh, stand up for themselves. They're going to have to throw all the negative um, patterns, people, things out of their life. Um, this person that has uh, been brought down has been trapped with not being able to break free. But it looks like now they have been enlightened to a point where they are, they're really aware. I'm really, really aware that this is all in my head. I mean, so thoughts are all in my head. I feel like somebody has gone through some sort of awakening, okay, that says, you know what? It's time to turn your back. It is time to turn your back on this situation that is no longer even... fruitful. I mean, it's very gray. It's very dark. It's very, uh, unrealistic. So somebody realizes that it's unrealistic and they're, they're gonna, they're gonna, you know, follow their heart. Here we have this is this is a decision being made. I finally decide. I have finally decided to follow my heart and move on from some sort of situation that stole my self-esteem. The final decision has been made. The intuition has guided somebody down a new path. And somebody's listening. And they're deciding to go on their own. Somebody is expressing their... They're bringing color. Remember I said this is gray? They're bringing color back to their lives. Starting a brand new cycle. Moons, even though it's nine of pentacles, it's a big moon, are starting a new cycle. I'm, I'm starting a new cycle, and I got to do it on my own. This is on your own. It is. This is independence. This is turning your back. This is on your own. Somebody is heading. I'm headed out on my own. I have to do this on my own. This is on your own, no doubt. Somebody's mindset has changed where they are allowing their intuition to guide them. I believe. I'm listening. I hear. And they're making a final decision to follow their dreams. This is a dreamer. 
So I feel like today is a day where somebody is, they could be expressing themselves in a way that nobody has ever seen. Kind of like my phone expressed itself in a way that has never been seen. I've never had that happen ever. I'm still in shock. Um, either way, you let's just change this up a little bit. Somebody is is moving in a new direction by themselves. They're turning their back on everybody to work. On, I'm I'm working on my self esteem, right? That's what's happening here. And because they're doing that, their heart chakra is opening. It's opening because when you love yourself, when you work on your self esteem, when you work on your self worth, your heart chakra starts to open because you're healing. You're healing. And it looks like somebody's watching from afar. So somebody is watching you. For those of you that are doing this work, somebody is watching. Somebody sees the hard work that you are doing. They see that you are healing. They see that you are facing your fears. And they see that you are making big, bold decisions. So somebody is watching you. Three more cards just to sum this up. Now you could receive something, a message. <laughs> this just came to me as I was shuffling. You could receive a message from the other side that you didn't expect. So really pay attention. I don't know where this is coming from. It just came to me as I was shuffling. You could receive a message from the other side that is going to help you to make a decision so pay attention to the signs that just came to me it's gonna help you it's gonna help you three more cards oh look at this the moon and that would be a message that would be a message from the other side remember I was talking about the moon Something is going to be made clear. Something is going to be made clear. Up here, the things are hidden. You can't, you can't see. There's a lot of... Um, something is not as it seems, right? There's been something hidden. It's going to be revealed, and it is going to be revealed. Something is going to be revealed in a very odd way, and that is why that happened with the phone. you got to pay attention to the signs. I'm going to figure this out when we get this done. I don't know if I am, but I'm going to do my damnedest to figure out what the hell that meant. But anyway, um, I'll do a reading for myself. <laughs> anyway, um, something is going to be revealed. You could receive a message. That's fucking weird. Excuse my language. You could receive a message from somebody, and it maybe it's from this person who brought you to your knees. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Something is coming out. Something, something is absolutely going to be revealed. I don't know. What's going to be revealed? What's going to be revealed? Something that has been hidden. Some truth that has been hidden is going to be revealed, but it looks as though you may not believe it. You may not believe it. You may be like, no, I'm not. I don't want to play this game. You know, I don't, I've already released this pain. These are, they're not reversed because they got stuff on both sides. For those of you that are going to bitch about that. <laughs> Somebody wants a new beginning with you. Somebody wants a new opportunity. Somebody sees that they want to have a, a passionate new start with you. You're going to have to make a choice in between, between you know, whether you want this or not, whether you want a partnership, whether this is your, your partner. I think that somebody has been hiding their true feelings. They've been watching. They have been watching. They've been waiting for the moment. They've been waiting for the moment to message you about love.
but they may feel like you're going to turn your back on them because you're you're working on yourself. They see that you're we're doing so good that you're working on yourself. They see that you're stable and you're secure and you're looking for that perfect opportunity, right? This person's been watching. Somebody's been watching and they're going to they're going to communicate. They are. That's what it looks like to me. They're thinking about it anyway. They're thinking about revealing the passion that they have. They they want somebody wants to start something new with you. For some of you. It could be this person right here. Maybe this person has received some sort of revelation. I find that hard to believe. Okay, I do, because this person has no remorse. This is a narcissistic individual who has no remorse. He will leave this person on the ground, tough shit, too bad, pick yourself up, I don't care. I mean, maybe, maybe this narcissist has been enlightened. Beware, beware. All is not as it seems with the moon card. In any sense of the form on this side or that side, you think about the moon card. We all know who it represents, okay? The moon card is the shadow. You say you're in your bathroom or you're someplace where it's fairly dark, you know, the light's not on, it's the middle of the night, but you can see a little shadow on the wall. You're doing your hands. Can we see it anywhere? You see my hands? You see my hands? You see it in the, in the light right there? Can you? I don't know if you can, but you can see the shadow, right? You see the shadow of my arm. It looks completely different, right? <clears throat> the shadow looks completely different. <clears throat> I can make it like quack or whatever. It could be an animal. But in reality, it's my hand. That's what this card represents. <clears throat> what you see is not what you get. That's what this card represents. Be careful. Somebody may have had some epiphany or some revelation that they want to tell the truth, that they want to have a new beginning with you, they want to relight a fire, or they, this could even be somebody new. It could be. And you're going to have to make a choice of some sort, a, a decision. Decision, decision. And go within to make that decision. It may be a very difficult decision. A soulmate connection. So I think there's options here. There's, there's options. And you will have to live with the consequences of your option, of your choice. It looks as though there's going to be some sort of message that comes in that is welcome. It's a welcome message. It's something that perhaps you've already moved on from. You've, I think this is, I do feel like somebody is going to receive something from somebody, you know, that they've already moved on from. And it's probably going to put this person in some sort of need to really dig deep to go within as to whether they want to have this new beginning or not. This is a messed up reading and I know it's because of the phone so I'm gonna do I'm gonna do another one. I'm gonna do another one and um, start it without any interruptions but I think there's gonna be an interruption. Interruptions happen for a reason. I think we have somebody here that's working really really hard on themselves right where they need to be, talking to the moon, talking to the moon, manifesting, setting intentions, working on their abundance. I'm doing fantastic, okay? They've picked themselves up from rock bottom. Somebody's been watching, whether it's this person or somebody new. Somebody has been watching, okay? You look up there in that tower. Somebody has been watching, okay? Can you see it? Up there in the tower, somebody's been watching. And now this person is probably going to communicate that, you know, they, they want to they come together with you. 
They've healed, whatever. You're their perfect match. They want to they want to they want to bring fairness to the situation. They want to bring balance back. They they want to do the right thing, you know. They've gone within. They've they've done a lot of work and you're going to be presented with an opportunity to, you know, start over. Or start in a new direction or have a passionate beginning with them whether it's somebody brand new or not. There's an opportunity for a new partnership here. Somebody's got going to take a new approach. It's like they got this vision, this new vision. They've been enlightened. That they've been trapped. They've been mentally trapped. They've been making the wrong decisions. You know, they've been stuck in their own mind. Somebody has woken up that this is all a, a fucking mind game. And they're seeing things clearly now. Son of a bitch. Now, I don't know who this reading is for. If you're dealing with a real narcissist from your past, forget it. Because they, they don't change. Now, a real narcissist does not change. They will not apologize. They have no remorse. And there's nothing you can do about it. Be careful. Be careful. It feels like you could be dealing with somebody who isn't, who is a bully. Is a bully. I mean, I can't make that card up. And it may leave you feeling mentally trapped dealing with this person. So I feel like you have to, you're going to be, this is a choice. You're going to have to make a choice in regards to whether you want to even be in a partnership or whether you, this person will bring balance to your life or they'll bring upheaval. So you're going to be, you're going to be uh, making some sort of decision within the next few days in regards to love. Whether you're moving away or ex you're accepting an offer. Self-esteem. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. This person sees that too. See where it was? This, is, this person sees that your self-esteem has, and you have gifts, has, has skyrocketed. So whether this is somebody new or somebody, somebody's been watching. So this person, you know this person, whether it's somebody that you have dated yet or not. This, this is not somebody that you don't know already. This is somebody that you know. Okay, somebody that you really already know. You know this person, whether it's a past lover or not. It's somebody that you know already. You've met them. This person has been watching. And they know that you have high self-esteem. And this person gains strength from bringing people down that have high self-esteem. So that's what a narcissist does. Okay. They also like people that don't have high self-esteem as well. So I don't know. This person could be intimidated by self-esteem as well. But we could go all day. We got to stop here. Anyway, um, I'm going to do another one without any... I'm going to turn... To, phone off I suppose I don't know what I, I, I don't know if that that'll probably never ever happen again I'm still taken aback by that um, expression somebody is going to express themselves vividly okay so that's what I have for today and this is gonna <laughs> it's funny I just happened to look the knight of swords Hasty. This person has, somebody is going to come charging in. Somebody is coming in. They have no fear. They have no fear. Somebody is like on the move and they're headed in quickly. It's like, I got to do what I got to do. Somebody has made the decision that they have to get moving. They have to, they have to move their ass. Somebody is moving quickly. <laughs> the 
No stopping him. There's no stopping this person. This person is on a mission. So yeah, it's, and that's the sort of, of communication. Somebody wants to take take something, you know. I'm going to get what I want. Somebody is going to get what they want. So be prepared for some sort of, uh, oh, bastard. This could be somebody from your past. I shouldn't have looked. I don't know why I did. Somebody, this could be somebody from your past. Now, now, somebody from the past, i got to clarify this one. How many exes or how many people have you met in the past? How many exes have you had? Think about that one for a minute. This is somebody that you know, like I said. It is absolutely somebody that you know that has been watching. And they may... They may, they may, may be watching you to the point where they just run into you, you know, as if it's uh, serendipity, but it really wasn't serendipity. They planned it because they've been watching you. So just, just say, just say it. There is somebody that you have known before that has been watching you, and they see that you have found your self-esteem and your self-worth. They may have hurt you in the past. They may have, but they may have healed, and they may have been enlightened, and they may want another chance. This somebody from the past may not be who you think it is. Because, you know, when you hear that, oh, it's somebody from my past, there's one person that pops in, right? Always. Get that thought out of your head. How many exes have you had? How many acquaintances have you had? How many little flirtations have you had? Somebody's been watching, and you're going to run into them. And communication is going to be had. Good luck. I'm going to do another one without interruption. You're going to be interrupted. It's like your life is going to be interrupted. Your, your independence. If you're independent, you're happy, you're doing good. You know how that goes. Good luck.